Good evening, dear friends. Today we are going to discuss about understanding language. To our today's topic is we will be discussing on what we mean by high blood pressure and what are methods to prevent it. Each one of us like to have a normal weight, but what do you actually mean by normal blood pressure? In a normal patient or in a normal person, the BP rises and falls throughout the day. Each time when our heart beat, it will pump a certain amount of blood into the blood vessels and that blood will exert a pressure on the blood vessels. That is what contributes the blood pressure. So, if the blood pressure remains elevated for a long time, it will create a lot of issues. And if the blood pressure is remaining elevated for a long time, it is called hypertension. So, what are the risk factors that will lead to the development of the risk factors we can divide into modifiable risk factors and non modifiable risk factors. The modifiable risk factors are those which are related to our lifestyle, like obesity, intake of alcohol, smoking, uh, content foods with high amount of salt. And the non modifiable risk factors include as the age increases, our BP will increase. If we have a mostly family history, that is whether if our parents are having. There is high risk for, for us to get a BP and so on and so forth. So now we will be looking into what are the symptoms of high blood pressure. Actually, high BP usually doesn't produce any symptom. That is why it is called a silent killer. Since it doesn't produce any symptom, ultimately it can lead to a lot of complications like coronary artery disease, stroke, kidney disease, and it can even lead to loss of vision. So Sometimes, in certain patients, high blood pressure will present with symptoms like headache, giddiness, palpitation, or anxiety. And sometimes there may be feeling of numbness. If any of these symptoms are there, it is always advisable to get your BP checked. Fortunately, checking the BP is a very cheap and very easy investigation to be kept done. So, how are we usually checking our BP? Usually, BP is measured by using an instrument called Spigmo manometer. In our market, there are usually two types of Spigmo manometer. One is called digital Spigmo manometer, or the other one is called Mercury Spigmo manometer. I'm sure most of you have seen Spigmo manometer at least once in your life. Both are equally good, and you can use digital Spigmo manometer for monitoring your BP at your home itself. So. Let's see what you actually mean by a meaning of BP measurement. Suppose if the patient is or a person is having a BP of 120 bar 80, what does it actually mean? The higher value that is 120 is known as systolic blood pressure. That is the blood pressure which is exerted on the walls of the arteries when the heart contracts and pumps blood into the arteries. And the diastolic BP is the blood pressure which is exerted on the walls of the artery when the heart relaxes. So, a, normally, for easy understanding, a BP above 140 bar 90 is known as hypertension, or we will label the patient to have higher BP. So, let's see how we can prevent the development of high blood pressure. As, a, as we have already seen, there are certain factors which contribute to development of hypertension that can be modified. So, what are those factors? That is, lack of exercise excess intake of salt in our diet, stress management, strict BP monitoring at regular intervals and adherence to drugs. If we strictly follow these measures, we can control BP. Now we will be looking into details with about each one of these. So why we are emphasizing so much on lifestyle modification? If a person's BP can be reduced only by lifestyle modification, it may either delay, avoid or the patient may not even need medication. So what are the strategies for lifestyle modification? First one is exercise. So the first strategy is having a regular physical activity. A regular physical activity will help our heart to become strong. And a strong heart can easily pump blood into our blood vessels and that will eventually prevent the development of hypertension. A patient with a regular physical activity will have an automatic reduction in BP of up to 10 millimeters. 
Moreover, a regular physical activity also prevents the development of other diseases like diabetes or dyslipidemia. By regular physical activity, what we mean is 30 to 40 minutes of either walking, jogging, cycling, swimming or any exercise that will build up your stamina. The second lifestyle modification is change in our food habits or dietary management. So a person with hypertension should eat food which connects high amount of vegetables, fruits and also the diet which is low in saturated fat and solid protein. This diet should contain a high amount of potassium also. So dietary activity for stopping hypertension is called DASH. So what we mainly focus in DASH is eating foods that are rich in uh, potassium and non-saturated fat and low in sodium and saturated fat. So reducing sodium in your food will or reducing salt in your food will help to reduce your BP by up to 10 milliliters. So now we are on to the next important item which we should do in order to prevent the development of hypertension. That is stress management or decrease your lifestyle stress. So reducing your stress either by meditation yoga, listening to music or reading or in by any other methods will prevent the development of hypertension. Stress plays an important role in developing hypertension by altering your hormone mechanism. So it is highly advisable for a BP patient to have to lead a life which is low in stress and he should also focus on getting at least six hours of sleep. The other one is quit smoking and consuming less amount of alcohol. We all know and we all have seen in many advertisements like smoking is injurious to health and consumption of alcohol is also injurious to health. Smoking in addition to producing a lot of other diseases like cancer or coronary artery disease or increases of stroke or lung disease will also plays a crucial role in the development of hypertension. So quit stopping smoking is a very important step in preventing the development of hypertension. Like that, consuming lesser amount of alcohol may also prevent the development of hypertension. A BP patient or those having risk for developing hypertension should get their blood pressure checked at frequent intervals. Most of our patients get, a, get their blood pressure checked when they visit their doctor. Or they can also, by the help of digital thermometers, can easily check their uh, BP by themselves. And lastly, the need for adhering to medication. Once we have developed hypertension and all the preventive strategies has failed, then we will start the patient or the person on medicines. It is highly advisable for the patient to strictly adhere to the medication as per the advice of your doctor. Unless you are following the medication as per the advice of your doctor, it can result or lead to catastrophic complications like cardiovascular disease or stroke or brain hemorrhages or can lead to kidney failure. So all patients who have hypertension, even though their BP is well controlled with medication, should never stop medication without their advice of the doctor. So, we have seen that maintaining a fit and healthy lifestyle with a healthy dietary habits will prevent us from developing blood pressure and the complications which are associated with it. I hope this lecture has somewhat helped you in understanding the need for controlling hypertension, development of hypertension and also emphasize on the stress of leading a healthy lifestyle. Thank you.